Uh, lots happened since last year when we talked. Yeah. The little girl is really um, mm -hmm. a full-fledged human being. I know, now. she's a little person. Yeah, it's so cool to see. She's so cute, too. Thanks. It's just ridiculous, <laughs> that wispy platinum hair mm -hmm. she's got going on. Were you blonde like that when you were little? No, I had like brown curly hair. My dad's Hispanic and my mom's German-Irish. And so I really look a lot like my dad. And so now Kaylee's like that. She looks a lot. She doesn't look like me. So my mom's like, whenever I'll say anything, she's like, now you know how I felt your whole life. You know, last year you were back. You mm -hmm. had had a baby not that long yeah, before. Yeah, a couple months. Yeah. But now I see you this year. You're back. Yeah. And are you 100% back from, yeah. from having your daughter? Yeah, I think I'm back and probably like better than ever, really. Um... You know, I th think just fitness wise, I really worked on that um, after last season and just, I mean, that really feels good, like confidence wise, knowing like, okay, in the 85th minute, like I can do what it takes to pin a team in and to help our team, even if we just played three or four days ago. Um, but so, so I, I feel good. And um, I think, I mean, how can you not feel good with our season? <laughs> Uh, with how we're all playing and gelling together right now. Um, not only are we getting results, but we're, we're playing well and the connections are there. I think I've definitely gained a rhythm and I'm even looking forward to getting to next year and just really like challenging myself even more. Well, you have the World Cup coming. Yeah, yeah, the World Cup and just um, being really demanding, so. How much yeah. does it mean to you? I mean, after all you've accomplished kind of in your career and stuff, and you have certainly plenty of caps with the national team, but, mm -hmm. you know, there's never a lock making the World Cup roster, and no. never mind getting in the 11. Um, you know, I just found out that I'm not going to the next game, the next roster for the U.S. game we play Switzerland, and part of me, like, kind of wavered, like, okay, what does that mean? Um, but now just thinking about it and, um, and having this team as a certainty... Um, I know that I want this team to like make me better, that these girls can really even up my game even further, that this environment can. You know, if you were to break it down, trying to be objective about yourself and give insight into your game and what enables you to put the ball on someone's foot or on their head from 35 yards out time after mm -hmm. time, how do you do it? Oh, it's like the greatest feeling, you know, when you hit a well-struck ball. And I think, you know, it was always something that I've prided myself in. But, like, sometimes I don't realize how good it is or just the general idea of it. I know in the moment, like, wow, that was great. Or I hit first-time ball, like, without taking a touch, and it just, like, flies. And, yeah, I guess just over time, like, working with my right and my left, and now I played on the left for so long that I'm really – probably more comfortable with my left, even though I was really a right-footed player. You're also known as a tactical genius on the team. <laughs> this has been said by multiple players. What is it about the game, from your point of view, or even what you do on the field, that needs to happen? You know, when you break it down, what is it that really, that you need to do that's one of the keys, and mm -hmm. how does that work for people who might not really understand you know, what I love about soccer is it's a team sport. And so I think when we struggle as a team is when we're not connected um, to those people that are around us. So is it more mental then? Because you know what, frankly, I could see you playing out on the wing on the offense too, <laughs> crossing balls in because you do that so well. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, that might be more of kind of a physical talent that you have as opposed to the organizing. And is one more important than the other? Um... Yeah, you know, I feel like as an outside back and even just talking to the national team coach the other day about me not going into camp, you know, she was talking about, oh, in possession, I have no question about your talent, but just defensively. And so I think that because I don't have to do anything defensive, like that's almost my role, it's just the mental side to make sure that it doesn't even get to us. If we put are in right positions that we really, it, it looks easy, you know, so. It's a little bit like a keeper though too, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, uh, yeah, a keeper's job, sure, you know, if they, the less shots that they get, you know, probably the better they've organized. Um, but I think my job's even easier since I'm right there next to him, right next to the midfield and right next to the center backs, um, especially when we're playing in the other team's half so often. <laughs>
Last little thing, where'd you get your legs? Oh, I don't know. Um, in college, Brian's baseball coach, they would like, during the winter, they would be like training up in the gym and I would be running around doing my laps and he used to call me wheels. <laughs> um, yeah. But your dad? My dad, I think, yeah. And the cinema, he was an cinema? athlete too. He was, uh, my parents both ran cross country and he was a boxer after high school for a little bit. And so he's got, he's got some good, good athlete. And yeah. Got some I could good see blood. a cross country girl. I could see those legs running <laughs> cross country for sure. Oh, I love running after a ball, but not just for running. So we'll see. Not 3.1 miles or whatever, mm, just no. for the sake of it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You got practice. Thanks, Scott. Okay. Yeah.